Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I apologize for yesterday's video not having any audio, so I'll probably redo that really soon. But since Mitt Romney has just formally announced he is running for the United States Senate in the state of Utah, um, we're going to go through this primary election between President Donald Trump in the year 2020 and Senator Mitt Romney as if he was elected. Obviously, he has a chance of getting elected in Utah. Um, if not, it's a 99% chance or higher, in my opinion, for him to get elected. I'm going to go over a 2018 Senate map today, actually. Well, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, it'll be pretty interesting, factoring in Mitt Romney and the, Republican going, the Republicans going up in overall generic ballot. So we'll see how that makes an effect on the race. But, yeah, so starting off with a number of states, um, I guess you can start off with home states. Um, Mitt Romney coming from the state of Utah, presumably... And Massachusetts, I think that he could be able to grab both of those. Um, if you look at the way that the map was made out to be back in 2016, um, Donald Trump did very well in the South. He did well in the Northeast, but he was lacking a number of support out from the Midwest. Um, presumably, states like Nebraska, Wyoming. He did win the Nebraska primary, but he was poised to lose it if if Ted Cruz had stayed in the race. Um, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, states like that. Um, so yeah. And, Really, Donald Trump did very well in population centers, and back in 2012, Mitt Romney also did pretty well looking at the map. Um, Mitt Romney won a number of states. He pretty much won all of the Northeast, most of the Rust Belt, disregarding Minnesota, um, but he didn't do that well in the South, and that was an area Donald Trump did well in. Um, but pretty much the only states that Mitt Romney lost were some states in the South, like Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. He lost pretty much up and down Abe Lincoln. Um, referring to Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. He did win the Ar Arkansas primary, but um, looking at the map, he's pretty much only lacking. Um, he's done, He did very well in the Midwest. Um, he's just pretty much lacking in some southern states, which is where Donald Trump does best, so I guess you could see how that works out um, for the two candidates against each other. So Donald Trump coming from the Northeast, um, I believe that he would carry his home state in New York. Um, disregard the electoral votes, it should just give you an idea of the populations and who I believe would win specific states. Looking over to areas where Donald Trump can gain a number of voters. Um, although he did not he did not necessarily do the best in the South. Donald Trump did not win over 50% in pretty much any state in the South. Um, I would say the only state would probably be Florida, if that's correct. Um, I actually can check right now, but the state of Florida... Um, I'm not exactly sure. I know that Mark Rubio did horrible in the state of Florida coming from that state, so that just shows that the home state factor doesn't always help. However, um, a number of states that Donald Trump carried was by a plurality, not a majority. Um, the first, I, I believe one of almost all the southern states, if not all of them, he won by a plurality rather than a, um, majority, meaning 50% or more. Um, yeah, so we'll look at the Republican primary in Florida, and we'll see how that takes an effect on the race. But as for the rest of the South, it could become very close, in my opinion. Donald Trump did not win a majority in Florida. He won 45.7% of the vote. That's pretty much safe enough to call it for him again, um, considering that he ousted an incumbent senator from that state. That's very surprising. Going to the rest of the South, I think Romney could carry the state of Arkansas, as he did in 2012. Um, the rest of the South, you know... Georgia's been turning more and more away from Donald Trump. Um, they almost had Ben Carson as their, I guess, candidate, show, according to opinion polling. Um, this is a very moderate Republican state. They got Donald Trump in um, by pretty much, he did win by a considerable amount, but it was only because there were other candidates in the race. I'm actually thinking after we've seen the backlash from a number of Republicans down in Georgia that Mitt Romney could carry the state. As for South Carolina, North Carolina... I would give these states to Donald Trump, Tennessee included. Um, but yeah, so looking down in the South, obviously Trump did better than Romney. But we'll go over to the Midwest, where I think that Mitt Romney could pretty much do the best. Um, so Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, te Texas, all states that Ted Cruz carried, I believe that Donald Trump would carry the state. Um, I think it could be a considerable margin for... Um, for Ted Cruz, for sorry, for Mitt Romney to win. Um, well, yeah, so looking at the map, we have pretty much, I guess, 99 electoral votes, just meaning that Romney's getting some part of the population, while Donald Trump is 116. Going up to the Northeast, Vermont, I think that one would go to Trump, but New Hampshire, I could see easily going to Romney. Um, Connecticut, Rhode Island, I believe that this would be Trump territory up in Maine. Um, oops, I forgot that this map is really messed up. Um, 
but yeah, so up in the Northeast, I guess New England um, and New York, um, we would give Romney a couple contests there and then the rest to Donald Trump. As for the Western Coast, you know, that could be very contested. California, that's one that's going to be really, really close. But I ultimately think since Trump is the incumbent president, he could win up across um, the entire North West. Sorry, just the West. But up in Alaska, I think that could be areas for Romney to grab a number of voters. Um, Nebraska, Alaska being a Ted Cruz state from 16, I, it's pretty much easy how you could see how Trump um, would lose the state of Alaska to Mitt Romney. Um, going over to states like Iowa, I actually think Romney could carry the Iowa caucus. He's been, he's done this before, um, and he didn't win the Iowa caucus back in 12, but, um, he's been around, they know his name just as well as they know Trump's, although he is the incumbent president, that would pretty much turn down voters to come out to vote for him, because, hey, he's the incumbent, why do I need to come out to vote for him? I think that could, since it's the first election, I think it could be one of the shocker elections for the two candidates, um, regard, depending on how it goes. Um, Nebraska, though, I think that could go to Romney. Um, South, North Dakota, I think Romney would carry that vote. Going over to Minnesota, another state I think Romney could carry. Um, Wisconsin is Ted Cruz state. Again, I think Mitt Romney could easily carry that state. And Ohio, I'm pretty much going through all the states Donald Trump didn't carry back in 16. Actually, Maine, now that I think about it, I think that the second congressional district um, would allocate... A lot of their representatives, um, actually delegates in the Republican primary to Donald Trump. But Maine, I'm actually seeing going for Romney um, as a statewide. But I can't really do electoral vote changes, obviously, because they don't do it by congressional district. Um, but now that I think about it, I think Maine could go to Romney. Ohio, another state I think Romney could easily carry, being completely honest. It wouldn't be that hard for Romney to carry. If John Casey could beat Trump in Ohio... Um, I highly doubt Ohio would go to Trump again in a Republican primary. I mean, sure, they came out to vote for him come the general election, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're active primary voters. Trump convinced a lot of Democrats in Ohio to vote for him, um, and it wouldn't be the easiest for Democrats to come over and vote in an Ohio GOP primary. Um, Indiana, that's a state that I think Trump would carry. Illinois, by considerable margin. Um, Michigan will come back to. Montana, South Dakota will come back to. Oklahoma, I think Romney would carry. Um, but yeah, so West Virginia, that would pretty much be a Trump victory state. Um, my state of Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, all states that I think that Donald Trump would carry. As for the District of Columbia, though, I think that Romney would carry the District of Columbia. Coming from the Midwest, I could see how Montana and South, especially Montana, after what we saw in the special election, Montana and South Dakota going for Mitt Romney. Going over to Nevada, you know, that could be really close. I think that Romney could actually carry the Nevada um, primary. But as for Arizona and New Mexico, I'm seeing it going to the president. Pe Pennsylvania pretty much going for Donald Trump. Um, Virginia included. That would be pretty much just going to Donald Trump. Um, if you look at the the way that it was in 2016, he won by a considerable margin, but he lost the general election with he won the general election, losing Virginia, and Ed Gillespie overcame the Trump-backed candidate for the state of Virginia, so it's withdrawing a little bit away from the president, but I still think that he would carry it narrowly. Um, and in the state of Kentucky, we have a pretty much solid Republican state, obviously, meaning that the Republicans make a majority of um, the electorate. Actually, I believe there are more registered Democrats, but that's pretty interesting. But Donald Trump did not do that well in Kentucky. He narrowly won the state by around 4%. I actually think that Romney could grab a number of voters from Kentucky. Um, going over to Missouri, that's another state. Well, Missouri is a very, very, I guess, toss-up state when it comes to primaries, um, but usually they vote with the winning candidate overall. Um, but yeah, so looking at the Republican primary from 2016 in the state of Missouri, Donald Trump won 40% of the vote. Ted Cruz won 40.63% of the vote. I think Cruz could actually carry it, giving his more um, appeal to the Midwest. Um, a number of these states were really close, but ultimately I think it would come down to Donald Trump carrying Virginia and losing Missouri. Um, I also think that Romney would carry Kentucky, as I just said, and we'll find the the Sorry, we'll find the Michigan Republican primary to see how that turned out. So looking at Mich the Michigan primary results, Donald Trump won considerably, um, which backs my conclusion that I think he would win the state of Michigan. So looking at a recap on the map, we have Mitt Romney doing very well in the Midwest, Donald Trump doing well in the Northeast and in the South, with the exception of a couple states. Um, but looking at the map, you can see where Romney does well with rural voters. Actually, I think this... Mm, 
If it was only four more electoral votes for Romney, this would be the exact map that Romney had lost by in the 2012 election. Um, but yeah, so looking at the Republican primary back in 2016, um, in general, Donald Trump demolished almost all the other candidates. Um, but actually in the state of Virginia, I just checked, Donald Trump only won by 3%, but it was Marco Rubio. Obviously, he's a more moderate Republican. Um, but however, the state of Virginia in total, although they're not necessarily unified behind the president, I still think the incumbent factor will definitely help him. Um, but going over to states like Kentucky and Missouri, I think Romney could better appeal than Ted Cruz did to those voters. So I guess final map, we have Romney, I guess, with 202 electoral votes and Trump with 336. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember, comment down suggestions, and I'll see you all tomorrow.